Shamai, my name's Liam Dunn and I'm a multidisciplinary artist and this is my project entitled Rolling With A Punch. The first time for me that uh, was pivotal in my development as an artist was when I went to see the uh, Banksy's exhibition Exit Through the Gift Shop in Bristol and that really was the start, a pivotal moment of me going, I want to be an artist. I studied at the Glasgow School of Art and the University of West of England, Spike Island. Within my own practice, I use a lot of Hiromeki, which is the Japanese translation of Flash of Inspiration, which uses a lot of pareidolium. So you make a mark and whatever you see in that mark, you bring out. Through my research and development award from Arts Council Wales, I've been experimenting and exploring stop motion animation and developing ideas that I had and have developed over a period of time entitled Rolling With The Punch. I was on a residency in Hospital Field Arbroath, Scotland. The house used to be a monastery but also belonged to the Fraser family and within their library that's when I came across the Punch magazines. Punch magazines were the private eye of the day in the, during the Victorian and Edwardian times from 1841 to 1992, which was the last edition. Punch invented the term cartoon, humorous illustration. The illustrations that were within the Punch magazines were like, you know, political commentary of the day. It was popular in the British colonies at the time and it would be very politically incorrect if published in today's age. Very anti-Irish, anti-Catholic, anti a lot of things. Very rule Britannia and Britannia rules the world. I wanted to explore Punch magazine because I'd love to produce a modern day uh, Republican version um, that's very anti-Punch. For this uh, project I've been working a lot with um, Joseph Wallace who's an animation and puppetry director and um, it's been great to work with um, Joseph with him showing me the ropes of uh, stop motion animation and how to animate in, in the professional industry standard and um, as the project developed uh, he introduced me to a lot of stop motion animators that I hadn't heard of. I hope that the work will open people's eyes to our country's history and also, you know, to never lose sight of history and politics and what's happening within the political atmosphere, but also to introduce people to stop motion animation, to also introduce people to illustrations and, you know, painting and, and drawing and how they can all be combined to uh, produce multi-art platform pieces of art.